Vermont passed a physician-assisted suicide bill. We brought this up the other week. At that time, it had not cleared its final hurdle yet. It has now cleared its final hurdle. So to give you the specifics again, a patient must state their request three times, get two medical opinions, be offered a psychiatric examination, and wait 17 days to fill the prescription if they want to go out with the physician-assisted suicide. So there is a tremendous uh, number of hurdles to get over. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but it also needs to be, they have to have six months or less to live. The bill is known as the Death with Dignity Bill. And Vermont is the fourth state to allow doctors to prescribe uh, lethal doses. And this is after a court order in Montana said that this has to be the case and ballot initiatives in both Washington and Oregon. So this I think is uh, honestly just as big a win as we're getting in terms of the gay marriage uh, or, uh, debate now and on that front. Because look man, to me, I, I said this the other week, but I'll say it again. It's the ultimate test of sympathy. For somebody to be able to say, okay, it is my loved one's wish to pass away now because they're in so much pain, right? And they're miserable. It is their wish. I will now be selfless enough to put my selfish needs to want to keep that person here aside and let them fulfill their own wishes and make their own decision, right? And the fact that people in 2013 not only disagree with that, but I mean, in only four states it's legal to do that. And by the way, I think there's too many restrictions on it in those four states. I mean, that's crazy, man. So you're telling me we treat our animals better than we treat our humans. Now don't get me wrong, I understand a dog doesn't literally tell you, yes, I'd like to die now. But the principle behind what you do there is, okay, the doctor tells us the dog is in horrendous pain and is gonna have to go, put it down, right? Well, for human beings, we have a ridiculous extra layer of certainty, which we need there, where they say, I'd like to die now, please. And you say no? Oh, how arrogant are you? Now, as I've told you guys before, I'm actually of two minds on this debate in the sense that I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm in favor of uh, laws in all 50 states like we're dealing with here, where there's very strict regulations associated with the assisted suicide. Uh, or if I'm in favor of just flat-out euthanasia, where anybody could say, yes, I'd like to uh, legally kill myself now. I think I lean towards just being in favor of euthanasia, right? And the reason why is because, look at the counter-argument, and I've had this discussion with friends of mine before, and I'm not trying to, to mischaracterize their argument or create a straw man here, but the perception I got was their point is, well, if we create a society where anybody's allowed to, die, to kill themselves at any point in time, then obviously a lot of people would kill themselves, and it might even be a majority. Okay, I see no uh, reason to believe that. And even if you say, well, the numbers of people being depressed are high, that doesn't necessarily mean you put a gun to your head and kill yourself. Now, am I naive in thinking that there wouldn't be more people that legally decided to euthanize themselves? I think that probably would happen. I think there might be an increase of people who wanted to do that. And my response is, yeah, that's kind of par for the course when you allow people to take control of their own lives. To me, and I, I struggle with this all the time, like I said, I oscillate between uh, strict regulations on it or just having euthanasia. To me, it's almost a matter of principle where to have an entire society say to an individual for a decision that physically only affects them, it might emotionally affect other people, but physically it's their own body, it's their own person, their most prized possession. To have the entire society say to him or her, you can't do this simply because I say so. There's something that sits so wrong about that because it's such hollow reasoning. You don't know what's going on inside that guy's head. You don't know what's going on inside that guy's body. So uh, this is a, a good day for freedom uh, in terms of obviously on the gay marriage front, but also in terms of uh, euthanasia, because I'd like to get to a point where, yes, on a, on a national level, on a federal level, we have a law similar to this. Because uh, I can only imagine, last point, I can only imagine 
like a billion scenarios and I'm a happy guy don't get me wrong I, I actually like I, I love my life I love what I do and I almost feel guilty about how happy I am sometimes but it's like I can only imagine a billion scenarios where I would want to kill myself right where oh look you got into a horrendous car accident and 76% of your body had to be amputated and you're no longer allowed to speak and you're only on a, uh, on a respirator or you have locked in syndrome you ever heard of locked in syndrome where, oh my God, you, uh, you are fully conscious, but you can't move or talk or speak or anything, right? Like, I want people to know, I want to write it out now that if that ever happens to me, I want to go, I want to go, right? So I think it's a matter of simple human sympathy. 